Good day learners and welcome to today's video where we are going to be delving into conditional formatting but not the normal conditional formatting because this one focuses on a potential problem that you could pick up when doing your conditional formatting. So let's say for example and we know with conditional formatting I'm going to highlight my particular range of cells I'm going to go conditional formatting I'm going to go highlight cell rules and let's say I want to equal that to fruit farm. So I'm going to go fruit farm and I want to highlight it maybe with a yellow fill and I click OK, but it's like nothing's happening. What? OK, well, let's let's try it with this one. Let's see. And I'm going to go equal to and I'm going to say 1200. And there you can see. OK, so conditional formatting does work. So why is this one not working? Because if I highlight this and I go up here and I go to manage rules, I can see there's a rule. So what could be the problem? Well, what you can do is double click in the particular cell. Ah, and in this case, what do I see? Where's my mouse cursor? Do you see that? So what is that telling me? That's actually telling me, and I'm just going to zoom in. Okay, so let's have a look. I'm going to highlight this again. And I'm going to go conditional formatting. I'm going to go equal to. And it's going to be that fruit farm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But it's still not highlighting. And that's because there's actually a space here as well. So there we go. Now it complies. Okay. So please be aware of that. Obviously, a way that you can avoid this is when you do your conditional formatting. And I go up to equal to, I can just click on that particular cell. Then it takes all of that effort away of me having to worry about spaces, etc. So this is just one of the issues that can um, come up with conditional formatting and how to avoid it. Let's do one more example before we finish up with the video. Let's go over here, conditional formatting, and I'm going to go equals to, and I'm going to change that to a green fill. And instead of typing this out, I'm just going to click on, let's see, let's go with, sorry, let's go with cauliflower. Is that the only one? Yes. And there we go. There is our conditional formatting. Um, and because we click in on the cell reference instead of typing out the name, we avoid any potential issues.